Hey guys, Crew Blonde Way back. I'm Eric. Eric! And we are here with the Flash. Flash. Uh, where previously we had to deal with a case. Fuerza. Fuer yeah. Where we had Nora mm. kill her? Yeah. I don't think so. I think she's still alive. Can you kill that which is too strong? I don't know. Uh, we also had a, uh, a court case, a uh, sentencing. Dun, 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 Killer Frost. It was not an actual trial, but it was what's going to be done with Killer Frost. And we have all decided the best course of action is to lock her up forever. Freedom! That's not... No. no. <laughs> uh, but we were, uh, you know, messing around with the idea. Do we give someone that deserves it the Medicure? Or is that cruel and unusual? Sure. And how you decide it. It's a very tough subject. And was the subject of our poll. <laughs> Last oh, time oh. we asked, do you think the metahuman powers, or do you think metahuman powers should be taken away as punishment for a crime? We had 52% of people say it should be, it should not be used as punishment. 47 said it should be used. So yeah. it's a relatively even split, not <clears throat> as even as it, it could be, but... Not as even as it could be. I'm, I'm really excited to check out some of these comments, of which there are many. Not 50-50. Um, I know that me and you talked about it last time, and we were kind of undecided. Lean, I was leaning toward, like, well, I think it needs to be case-by-case -case basis. It can't just be a precedent for all people, you know? Yeah, sure. It's just a hard It's a hard thing to nail down of how the precedent's set, because, yep. like, should Killer Frost lose mm -hmm. it versus someone else? And Yeah, we start with DC Fanboy, who makes... A, I mean, this statement is correct. If the metas are evil, then definitely take their powers. But how do you quantify evil? That's the thing. Legally. In, in a comic book, it seems easier to do that. But sometimes, it's, mm -hmm. I, think, I think even in real life, it's there's sometimes it's easy to say this guy's evil. <laughs> sometimes yep. it's hard to say, like, well, this guy's evil. Joel says, blind wave. This feels like a political question. <gasps> Bro, gasp. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, you guys have finally turned to the dark side as we've gone to the realm of politics, which uh, we don't usually do uh -oh. on our channel. Uh -oh. Though we did a couple times in the Arrowverse, like with Arrow and gun control. And He's a bear! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but to answer, it should only be allowed for people as a last resort, like uh, Thanos. <laughs> Killer Frost doesn't deserve it. I would agree that Killer Frost doesn't deserve it, um, but I do think that there are people out there that... Uh, Probably would. It'd be interesting going through, like, like if you went through every Flash villain that we've mm -hmm. had, right? Like, all the bad guys throughout the, the series. Yeah. Does this person deserve to have it taken away? Sure. Does this person deserve to take it away, you know? Because, like, each one, like, you're looking at... So lots of them are evil. Yeah. Some of them are not so evil, mm -hmm. you know? Like, what would you do with that? Well, King Shark. Yeah, I mean, you know, on the subject of something that's more like a inhuman, like, sometimes they just look like a porcupine. And, like, they probably wouldn't think it's like, no, this is me, <laughs> you know? Spencer says, I say the use, the, the, use the cure on metas who have at least committed murder and are still committing crimes. For those who haven't committed crimes and are using their powers for good, they should be excluded. Now, yeah, what if... There'd have to be some type of, like, line that's crossed. Yeah. That you lose that privilege or well, burden or There's also the subject going. we talked about, like, what if you've killed someone and it doesn't involve your powers? Yeah. Does that mean you should lose your powers? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, it's a I, tough question. I, it is know? a tough question because there is also <laughs> the idea brought in the last episode that powers, your power, your superpower is part of your like, you know, unique identity as a person, and robbing that of someone is unfair. You know, sure. but and like Killer Frost, that's like one of the most true ones. I feel like, yeah, you know, true. But I mean, you know, the the show has also said so many times that you know the Flash is the Flash, not because he can run fast, because of who Barry is. <laughs> you know, so there's almost like a conflicting message there. But is he who he is because he can also run fast? I don't know. He's a paragon of love, not speed. Yeah, but is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good fast? line. Let me let me have it. It's a good line. <laughs> Maybe his love goes fast. Poor Iris. Yeah, I know. Um, or happy. <laughs> Errolol says, whatever happened to re rehabilitation instead of punishment? Like, I don't think that not having your power makes you... I don't, I, mean, I don't know. I don't have a power. I've had it. If I did, I would have been, you know... I mean, I don't have it for very long. I don't know. But I kind of feel like if I lost my power, I could still be rehabilitated as a normal, average person that doesn't have the power of a god. Sure, but could you be rehabilitated with it, too? Maybe. Like, wouldn't it be better to, like, rehabilitate you and have your power be used for good? I don't know. Like, uh, you know, they're functioning people that do a lot of cocaine, <laughs> you know? But 
if what? we take the cocaine away from them, and they're like, I can't do it without cocaine, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but like Killer Frost, for example, like mm-hmm. back in season, what, two or whatever it would have been, sure. like, it would probably been more of like, take her power away. Yeah. But then she wouldn't have been around to be able to help with other stuff. Agreed. Like, if you can rehabilitate her with that, then that power can be used for good. Uh, I mean, I definitely agree. It's I think it's trying to find that analogy to our current court system. Like, you know, you lose the privilege to buy a firearm, you can still be re- rehabilitated and, uh, you know, at, be a person that adds to society. Sure. You just can't have a firearm. Like imagine a guy you know? who can shoot fire out, right? Sure. Like, Jesus, that guy's going to kill people. Yeah. But if, if he's been rehabilitated and or has, is just good, uh-huh. imagine him in wintertime just clearing off snow yeah. driveways. Lighting just, candles. Just, and... just all your driveway. He just, that'd be great. He's just sure. running down. Just, sh- 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 and driveways are just empty. I know, but you'd have to, I feel like you'd have to have like a lot of insurance. And like, what happens if like the family dog runs out? Hi, hi. Whoa. <laughs> oh! You know, <laughs> be careful, you know? Um, and we can get him a fire gun. What? No. They have those. It's part of him. Uh, there are some great responses. A lot of them in here very long. So if you want to check those out, you can go over to our Patreon and watch or check out last week's poll to see all these great opinions about uh, <laughs> if they should do it. But we have avoided that so far. Kramer it seems to have said goodbye, goodbye for now, but we'll see if she comes back. But what we still have is Fueza. Dead Where is alive? This dead? You're coming with me. No, she's dead. Oh, God. Just don't remember didn't, didn't Barry go over and touch her head and it went... You do this, I believe it. You do this, I believe it. If you're like, she's dead, you know, it doesn't work. She's dead. Oh, damn, okay, never mind. You killed Alexa. Told you. Barry and I did it together. Well, she stayed dead. That was the only way. What? I will destroy those other forces, Barry, with or without your help. Then you'll see that I'm right. You know what's interesting, though? What? I never really, really, I never really thought about like, what's a good villain for Barry, the Speed Force. That's pretty good. Yeah, like, it's an interesting idea. I would have shot her when she came out of the ceiling when I had the chance. What would that have done? What about what Nora said about you two creating the other forces? There's no proof. Well, what if we find out if Nora's telling the truth? If As she a Paragon, is, he literally helped create everything. But she was referring to a specific moment with in, Iris. But in which they did, mm-hmm. right? When they shot the lightning up in the sky and the four lightning Well, things? one, they never saw it. Yeah. Only we saw it. Sure. Nora was right. We created the forces. Of destiny! With love, remember that. I'd ask you to come, but I know you have your perfect job at Star Labs and you're amazing friends. I mean, you're an OG member of Team Flash. You okay? He wants to leave. Yeah. yeah he yeah. didn't want to leave. <clears throat> Three seasons fine. We need to wipe the new forces out of existence. Barry, what are you saying? I want to go back in time and uncreate them. What? Back in time? He, he, Every time this happens, is never good. He knows that. He must have some reason. All right. It's it's worth the risk to keep everyone safe. And what about the risk to Nora? Does her life not matter at all? Nora's not a person, Iris. She never was. Look, True. if we yeah. uncreate she these forces, the we can body put everything mom. back to normal. She just Hopefully that'll like... fix her too. But it still doesn't answer how we're supposed to do this and protect the timeline. I'll figure it out. Somehow I will. Yeah. I'll figure it out. Well, she had a better explanation. Man, I'll figure I it out. Nash <laughs> Wells was here. Roger that, but where are you going? Wells. To get the one person who could help us pull this off. The time Dr. traveling Nash. Wells. There's already a time traveling Wells. Year 2000. In the year 2000. Oh no. <laughs> President Bartlett just mixed up his meds. Well, that's not going to be good. President Bartlett. Bartlett? Great TV. He's watching Wesley. <laughs> He's watching Wesley. Wesley. It's interesting they have like, here's the girls doing this, here's the guys doing this. The guys are like, we're doing science stuff, and the girls are like, we're gonna connect with Nora. Mm-hmm. And it's more emotional kind of stuff. I was like, why do they do that? Apparently there's danger in Central City. Apparently. Well, let's get busy. Well, you really think we could do this without affecting the- Oh! Is this what he saw when he did the weird look? Maybe. I hope so, because that was weird. Remember that weird look? Oh, I can't forget it. You forgot it. Nope. Until I reminded you just nope. now. Nope. 
We've been trying to find the speed force when we should be looking for the person. So where would the real Nora Allen go? Home. Home. Come on. She's not the real Nora Allen. Some modifications complete. I just need one more. Just, just one more. We'll be good. You need to be more sure of yourself. Oh, still forces here. Oh, uh, goodness. He does the same green timey oh, travel thing. Frick. I need to make it so the still force never found you. It's the only way to keep you safe. I like being me. Hmm. It's like he's in the Medicure against their will. Why is he looking at stuff? I'm a god. Red flag. Maybe it's time you understood that. Damn, what are you doing? Who's right? <laughs> Did he age it? Yeah, it's all rusted. Whoa. I think Dion's right. We can't just uncreate these forces like that. So, uh, so what? We, we like giving the metahuman up? cure to people that don't want it. I mean, these forces, they're not my children. You sure? You said it yourself. You brought them into this world. Look, I know they've all done terrible things. But what if they could change? Mm -hmm. Judge your kids for who they are now. You help them become who they know they can be when they grow up. So lead with love. What the hell? This is the Allen house? Uh, this is Barry's own room. Well, that's Sage Force. Are they all here? I don't know. Psych. Nothing's happening. Are you gonna wait for it? Wait for it. And she's climbing. It does have kind of the same effect as Self Force, doesn't it? There ain't no A in this SF. Alright, yeah, we're gonna get that weird look, Aaron, you're right. We're in the segment of like, yeah, like the direction he looks. Look. I know that we're not flesh and blood, but in a way, I'm, I'm like a, a parent. So please let me help you. Okay. Get in the samples. Well, then there's something I should tell you, mother. I hated my parents. Ah! Well, the connection didn't work. Ah! Fools gotta learn. That's what Dion you get dealt with. Zabby, 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 Zabby. Where's that? Is she gonna come back to life? Maybe. I mean, they still have the body here, you know, which yeah. is weird. Barry did it. Eh, something's not gonna work. That is an act of creation. It still works. What is that? I have the particles. They're being born. They still have to be created. Whoa. That's different. Kind of looks like, uh, Windows. Do -do -do. I got <laughs> Never judge your kids for who they are now. You help them become who they know they can be. He's gonna throw it back in and let They're it... They're almost gone. So would it have killed the people? I don't know. As well? I think they I thought were that was disappearing. A, I thought it was supposed to not kill the people. I guess they wouldn't have been in that moment anymore. Yeah, you're right. So it would have at least They would have been that. somewhere else, I guess. Yeah. Oh, shit. What the hell is going on? I think Foyce is back. Do you think oh, maybe so. a power returning revived her? Yep. What happened? There was a tremor and... Alexa sat up and looked at me. <laughs> no. Alexa's alive. That'd be freaky. She was. What if us being back in sync is what woke her up for the moment? And then what? she reconnected with the strength force. Is it crazy to think that we. Because did this? they were getting along? Mm. Power lover. 
don't think it's love. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I don't think so. That's what created them. That's what's going on here. Them being on the same page, being in flux. Why is everyone looking at me? You were dead. You're a zombie. Eric would just start shooting you. I already know the answer. Man's got to be where his heart lies. Uh oh, Camilla. He's just got to learn to. Oh no, we're gonna lose Cisco. We got Chester, I guess. I have, I have to, to leave, leave Central, Central City. City. <laughs> it's way worse just because I had to pick up with you. <laughs> we're terrible. Oh my god. What are you gonna tell Team Flash? So they're both gonna leave. Or not, we'll see. It's happened to Cisco three times. Oh, he's back. What are you? A reckoning. Oh shit. She's doing reverse flash shit. Yep. You ever listen to Metallica? Ride the lightning! He definitely seemed like a threat, didn't he? Oh, what? 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 He just walked around. Yeah. So is Dion gonna be dead? I don't know. What happens if you, like, do this to him? As can can to, he like... stop her? Yeah, can he do that? <laughs> I would imagine he can. Huh? I mean, I know she doesn't necessarily run like Barry does, as opposed to kind of like, she's spread out like her, you know, whatever they called it, like that's everywhere all over the city, and she can, like, teleport almost, but... Yeah, I don't know if uh, that's possible. Um, yeah, uh, it's kind of a conflicting episode for me just because it's hard for me to wrap my brain around everything that's happening, I feel like. In terms of, you know, like, uh, I don't know. Like, there's definitely a difference between Nora and the other forces, right? Because Nora is, like, pure speed force and only the force, and the other ones are... A force that's inhabiting a person. I think so. Right? So like, well, like I understand like, well, Nora is a, you know, we're treating her like a person, I suppose, and, you know, Iris is kind of looking at her, I, I guess, kind of, or is she thinking about just Nora Allen, the real Nora Allen that has, has died and comparing herself to her, but then she must see that in this Nora, and that's bringing up that Well, fear. that's what the nightmare was, I think, yeah. was that, like, no matter what she does, she'll never compare to, like, what Nora Allen was to Barry. Was, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, but, like, there was the one line that Nora had talking about, like, these people being, like, when they accepted these avatars or something like that. Like, there was a, there was a, a line that came through where I'm like, does that qualify for her, too? Because, like, there wasn't... Yeah. There's it, Dion was a person, and Alexa was a person, and whoever Psych was was a person. And yeah. I imagine like this lightning hit them and like absorbed in and like they became these entities. Whereas like Nora, like like the speed force has used her image before. Can she change her image? And is it solely the speed force? She said she's stuck this way because she's been made per, like physical. Right? So, like this is just like the manifestation that yeah. it chose to that, that's the bring thing, like this. the the waters are a tiny bit muddied when trying to consider all of them at once because Nora seems very different. Like, is there a Nora equivalent in the still force that's not Dion? You know, he's like, I am the still force, you know. He is the personification, the physicality of that force. But he in fact he's a real person, you know? Like Nora's not necessarily a real person. She is the force made physical, right? Hmm. And we also have this kind of like tie over that the speed force used to was an internal, eternal thing that was destroyed and then recreated. But does it still have any like it, it talks as if it was always the same one? But is it a new one, thus not birthed up by Iris and Barry? You know, I don't know. There's a lot of I don't like. I think it's a new one. I think it was because they had a thing where like there was still speed force left inside Iris that they were gonna try to like push yeah. out, and so it's like. It's like what little remnants was left of that has then re sparked sure. into release it yeah. and make it again or something, I think. But I, I just I, 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 I just suppose like if they did go through it and Barry did take away that speed force thing, then those three people would still be fine and alive and living their lives. And it's I think even a worse case for saying that no, that's them now because they've only been dealing with it with or they've only had it for at most a couple months, right? It's not like this is who they are. This is what's happened to them, and they could go back to being who they were. Fraser would still be alive and helping people after getting over a, her addiction. I mean, Dion seems like he had some not great times in high school and stuff, but 
hell who, who did. Sure. <laughs> you know? But, like, that might be it. Like, this is what he is now. And that's the thing, And we have too, no like, information on Psych. Y- yeah. Like, the thing, too, is, like, is if we look at Dion and Alexa, yeah. Alexa may not want this, and she doesn't know what happened. She blacks out, right? So, yeah. like, for her, it's an entirely different thing, and it's almost like something that she wouldn't want to have, yeah. and she wants to get rid of, and she's afraid of it. Sure. Whereas Dion had nothing, and now this is what he has. This is yeah. what he is. So, like, there's, like, a difference between those two is, like, yeah. Like, Dion had nothing. Now he has this. That feeds into, like, who he is. Whereas Alexa had other stuff that she was doing. She doesn't want this thing. Yeah. So, like, now there's a difference between, like, well, if Alexa doesn't want it, we should help her not have it. If Dion does want it, should we take it away? I get what you mean. I, I, I think that my roadblock, and I'm not saying I'm correct or anything, but my roadblock is the this idea that this having this force is now, like, you are now this and, you know, you're, you're taking away of who I am if you take it away because, I mean, it's... It's only been in his life for not very long, you know? Like, if I was suddenly given the power of flight, and then two weeks later someone takes it away, I'm going to be really bummed. I'm not going to be like, I can't go back, you know, and yeah. start jumping off buildings and dying, you know? I mean, in a devil's advocate kind of way, uh-huh. there's, I suppose, no way of knowing how long Dion has had this. True. Since he has time travel kind of stuff, right? Like, uh, in a sense, he could go back and live in a past for 100 years, uh-huh. and then come to our present day... And he's been this for 100 years, you know? Sure. Versus, like, I've only had it for 17 days. Yeah. Um, but, I don't know. It's just, there, there is a line of, like, what is... Like, Psych feels, feels so much more like this is the sage force thing than a person. Because yeah. he has, like, no nothing else about him, right? Like, is, is the force that has went into them, like, how much is it control versus what is them? Like, Alexa seems to lose everything. Yeah. Whenever the force takes over. It seems to. Yeah. Dion seems to have full control. And then Sage, like, I'm not sure what's going with Psych. Like, I don't know if he has any control. I don't know if this is him and he's more evil than the other ones. Thus, this is what like, happens. Maybe he just like, picked up, like, a cursed mask. Like, take that off. You'll be fine. Yeah. You know, I, so don't I don't know. I don't know. They're, they're, and with them being also different, it's hard. Yeah. To, I agree. Like, it's hard to pinpoint, like, how I should feel about... Like, Nora feels so much more different than Alexa, who also yeah. feels more different than... than like, I, I don't think Dina. that Barry or Iris were right or wrong. I think that they arrived to their conclusions incredibly quickly, and were both stubborn on those conclusions, where it's like, this deserves far more talk than what we've done, and it's all, I almost judge both of them harshly for arriving to their conclusion so quickly and, and stubbornly. And then when they get here, and like, you were right, no, you were right, you know? And then... I don't know. I, I'm, you know, I didn't love the uh, moment when the forces were created through Iris and Barry's connection, but we're doubling down, and you know, this is actually revived Forza here. So, I mean, I even if I don't love it, I like that they're sticking to that being like their driving force yeah. and telling that cohesive well, story. But I, what I didn't like more in that episode was that I don't understand what the hell that look from Harrison Wells was, and we got that. So. I feel like I, I'm gonna trust them going forward to see where we go with this. Like at least there was like a plan ahead of like, yeah. what the hell was that? Absolutely. And then like, we never go back to it. It's like, yeah. well, I don't know. Um, but I wish it was more subtle back then instead of, you know, but sometimes in network TV, you have to be unsubtle for people to be like, something's well, going on. Sure. It's the idea. I was gonna say, like, I kind of like that they pushed here that Iris still has some kind of power still within her. Sure. So there's still like this connection thing that's going on. It yeah. wasn't just like we pushed everything out of Iris. Thus, the speed force and the forces were created. Yeah. So there's something else going on. Um, but the idea of, like, shows not being subtle, mm-hmm. and sometimes, like, they, like, make sure that they get this point. Uh, the I, I like, but it you're, you're right a little bit with, like, it's a little heavy-handed, I guess, with there's the, well, we birthed them, we created them, and, like, there's kind of like that kid element I'm uncomfortable thing. with that one, honestly. I'm not un- I'm not uncomfortable with it, but, like, I like what Joe was saying about, yeah. like, look, I had this, we had, I had trouble with Wally, but then now he's good, and I it's because I kept trying to reach him and no, this and that. And I I'm mean, like, I really like that. Yeah. But then when you cut over to, like, Sage and stuff, he's like, hi, Mom. And I was like, well, that's a weird way of kind of, like, you're, you're, you're really pushing into, like, this idea of it versus, like, here's the analogy. Mm-hmm. Now, like, look, we help create these. Let's make them good. Yeah. Like, you kind of go that way without really having, like, the mom and, mm-hmm. 
like aspect, but maybe he's also toying with her because he knows what her nightmare is. I suppose and it's so. not directly, directly related to that, and it's more of like you want to be a good mother, huh, mom? Or yeah, but if that's the case, be, like you know? I don't know. It, it's it's again, it's that it, it kind of muddies the waters of what we're trying to get across here. Like I think doing it with Sage is probably the best because <laughs> Sage is as of right now the most undefined person. Mm -hmm. It's just a mask in evil power and not much else. So, I mean, if you do it with Dion or with uh, uh, Alexa, is Alexa, is that was her Alexa, name? Alexa, yeah. Like, if, you know, if someone came to me and was like, oh, I'm your parent, and I'd be like, I have parents. Like, I have a whole life that existed before this zapped me in the sky, you know? Sure. Like, I understand, like, hey, this is, you know, Dion's like, this is pretty cool, I get these cool powers. But then you have Alexa, who's literally dead for nothing that she wanted to do, you know? In which case, I would be like, please, God, take them away, go back in time, do whatever you need to do. Um. Yeah, but it, it does feel weird. The the I, I like it coming from Joe, but yeah. it going so hard with everyone else being like, "No, I'm your daddy now." <laughs> you know, I'm like, that's weird. No, and I don't. Like, I mean, I understand that it does kind of tie in. <laughs> Iris and Barry's like, we're we're more in sync now. When we agree and get closer, and we're all connected, we can bring well, this lady back to life. The idea could be to like. Say there is like this power, right? There's a creation power between them and the other four forces, right? Because mm -hmm. they created them. So like when they're split on their decision, the power they have doesn't know exactly what to do. So yeah. whenever they agree on what to do, like we're going to bring Alexa back to life, yeah. then the power together is like the North and South Pole, right? You have two different entities sure. kind of connected, and then they make it happen. Yeah. So maybe there's more power that could happen that we could see. I mean, they've given Iris powers before and taken them away. And they things, have. So. You know, the only reason I'm not dismissing it outright as silly is because I think it's leaning on the idea that, well, one, this is the Flash. You know, he has this connection with the, the, the a, a force already. But two... He is the paragon of love who has literally been one seventh or one sixth of the creation of the entire universe. Mm -hmm. So it's not out of the realm of possibility that he, with his love and the person he loves, can do crazy things because that's the point of Crisis and this yeah. New Earth Prime. Right. So I feel like, again, it muddies the waters a little bit, but in a good way, as opposed to sure. a bad way, which is like the mother father like, stuff. And if in Supergirl, Kara was pushing hope and stuff like that, you'd be like, "This is ridiculous." Like, yeah. well, no, she's the paragon of hope. That's sure. That's what she's supposed to be. She's supposed yeah. to bring hope to people that don't have it. Yeah. You know, like I so guess you. so. There's, I, there's like I don't know. I, I think that it's doing some good stuff well, but I feel like it's and this happens a lot in shows where like when one character takes one stand, <laughs> one takes the other. We come back together in the, in the, at the end, and I don't know. It, it's heavy-handed uh, well, to definitely... a certain extent, but also it's 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 the line is so blurred because we have four forces. These three are different than this one, but this is the one that Iris is like, no, this I'm going to go reach out to this one and prove that these other ones are worth it. But I'm like, that should have nothing to do with that one because they're like this is like a the force, and these are three people whose lives have been interrupted bettered or destroyed sure yeah well and they also did the same thing too where it's like well we're deciding I, I say we do this I say we do this and they're like yeah. alright we're gonna take the guys here and do science stuff we're gonna take the women over here and do emotion stuff mm -hmm. and then it's like why are you why are you dividing them like that yeah. and then making it so heavy handed on like it's this or this at True. least this go was like you know maybe Iris is right but we never had on the other side where like Camilla I or anyone mean. was like you know what maybe they were right where like you start seeing a compromise until Iris at the end was like Barry, you're right. I tried it and it didn't work. We need to go your way. He's like, yeah. no, I tried mine. You were right. We need to go your way. It's like, well, maybe somewhere in the middle, of just mm -hmm. like working with it. So, yeah, I like that Cisco was like, you know what? Maybe she was right, and we shouldn't be doing this. But I wish they would have done the same thing on the other side. That way, there's like, yeah. hey, look, this isn't an easy solution. You're choosing this. Maybe we should talk to Barry more about this. You know, like I personally agreed with Barry a little bit more, just because I thought like, well, this these three people lives, you know, like. I, I feel like I would care about them more than I would about the forces that never existed, you know. Um, but what I would what I would say is that you know. So while I disagreed with Cisco, I liked that he remained consistent because it's incredibly close to his frustrations with the Medicure mm -hmm. and giving people the cure against their will. Sure. And he's been frustratingly but remarkably consistent with that. Yeah, and I think him coming back in is good too because I feel like. If Cisco's gonna be like, look, you guys are gonna screw everything up, you shouldn't be doing this, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be a part of it, 
thinking about it, I was like, well, if they're going to do it anyway, they're going to screw it up. I should yeah. at least be there and try to stop them from screwing up as much. Yeah. You know, like, do that. I wonder if there's going to be any kind of thing, like, is it possible that, like, these forces have always existed, but we've never seen them somehow? You know what I mean? Like, is that a possibility? Like, the Speed I mean, they, Force... they used the word creation a lot I know. in this episode. I know, they did. I'm the just Speed wondering. Force has, but it was technically destroyed. But then it was also kind of still around, and, you know, like, that's how, you know, Barry from the DC movies was able to come in mm -hmm. during, like, after the, the crisis or whatever. And then you have Nora, who was stuck in the Nora form. I don't know. There, again, it just makes this huge kind of divide between the Speed Force and the rest. Sure. And I wonder, like, what causes these if they've never been around before? Like, is it... Is it like splitting the Speed Force's power? Because Speed Force has done time stuff before, and the Speed Force, like, I don't know about the Sage side of things, but, yeah. like, it could kind of give strength a little bit, maybe. But I'm just like, why is the Speed Force coming to be creating these? Or do yeah. they always exist in this kind of, like, singularity-created, like, yeah. connection with people, you know? Like, Bar there was never a Speedster, I don't think, until Barry got struck with lightning from the Speed Force mm -hmm. or whatever and created him, so... Yeah, I don't I know. You. I just I wonder know. if there's like some kind of entities before, and this is the first time of them having like a manifestation. Mm -hmm. But like right now, I was like, or watching this episode, I was fully on board taking away the force from these people just because you know Alexa was killed because of it. But you know, obviously she didn't want it. She was blacking out. And she just wants to help other people. She obviously didn't. I think she would have chosen not to have it happen. Uh, Dion wants it to happen, but when you use a word like "I'm a god," you know, it's kind of a red flag. And like, I don't know if you're the person that I want having this power because people that say that kind of thing aren't necessarily the most benevolent of gods, sure. you know? And then obviously the Sage Force, Psych, I don't think that I would, I, he would, might qualify for metahuman cure in general. I don't think he views himself as a god, but he definitely doesn't use his stuff for good, no. you know? But maybe there's a way of changing that too where like, you know, maybe Dion realizing he's yeah. not all powerful and that Nora could kill yeah. him would be like, you know what, maybe I was a fool True. and I shouldn't have done this. And then the but the plan was to keep Nora and the Speed Force alive. So I that just felt like I felt like it was a win across the board, you know? But Yeah. Well and then they know. all started disappearing, which I imagine wasn't them dying. Yeah. I imagine it's more of like, well they wouldn't exist here because they yeah. don't they shouldn't have powers. Yes. So thus we need to put them where they should be. Psych wouldn't be in this house because he wouldn't feel the connection to his dad. Yeah. <laughs> no, I get you. Um, now, if they were just wrong about this, isn't going to affect those people, and it would, did kill them. I'm like, yeah, that was bad. That was that was not the right way to do it. Sure, especially but, since Barry's so heavy on like, well, I, I was yeah. trying to save Alexa. But I mean, when they have scenes like they did between Cisco, Chester, and Barry, where they just say nonsense science, I am going to assume they're correct. You know, I think the show expects you to do that. It will be weird if. Oh no, we were wrong about that part. I'm like, well. I have to trust these things. Sure. <laughs> you know? And the other thing, too, is, like they were saying, like, there was the assumption that they wouldn't mess anything up in the timeline, mm -hmm. but if you do that, you're going to mess up something. Like, Abracadabra is still going to be around. Like, what's that going to yeah. do? Did anything with that change? Like, there would have been some changes in some way. Yeah. So, at least this way, not having that happen, everything should have happened the way it happened. And it yeah. Have I mean, again, happen. they just had a line of, like, well, because of Harrison Wells' time, time bubble. bubble, it doesn't do that. But I feel like that... I don't know what that I mean, means, it, it, you know? Yeah, I don't know what the, well, yeah, I don't know what any of it means, but I don't know what, specifically what that means, but I also, you know, it invalidates to me a little bit of Jay Garrick being like, there is no way to do this right. Do not do it. Except if you have, like, a time bubble, dude. Then you can do it. You didn't say that. Well, maybe you know? they never had a time bubble. Dude. I, I know, I, I get you, know? you, but, like, you know, it's just the uh, increase of lore and how things work sometimes can make something less significant. Like, sure. I feel like the whole time thing with Jay Garrick and, and the mug, you can never fix this. Flashpoint should be a thing that, like, you know, there's no getting around that, except when we want to write to get around it. So time bubble, you know? Yeah. I mean, I, like I said, I, it could just be a matter of, like, well, with what I've done and what I know, as a speedster, you can never do this, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, you can never get the space yeah. until you can't, you know? Sure. And you have the technology that it's able to be. So, mm -hmm. like... Maybe, in, like, you can never go back and change time without it affecting everything. Yeah. With the exception of, like, well, we've never had a Harrison Wells that can make a time bubble before. True. And that's a brand new thing. Yeah. So maybe it could have done it. But I imagine, like, even if he time bubbled there, like, I don't know how the time bubble works. But, like... 
it's just a sentence to, like, to make it so that we don't have to worry about consequences. Yeah, the idea is he has to lock yeah. from those 17 days into an entire time bubble of, like, it doesn't affect anything except for these three people, uh -huh. I guess. It's like, okay, can we time bubble and go save my mom? Because that's why, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, because that's got to be why they, uh, why, like, Iris wasn't disappearing, right? Uh, and only Sage Force was disappearing, because they wouldn't have been at that building yeah. had it not been them looking for Nora and stuff who wouldn't have been doing what they were doing had there not been these other forces. Mm -hmm. So this time bubble must have just been like, well, we're going to wrap it around them, yeah. put them where they belong, everything else will be the same. But then, doesn't that make Nora bad? <laughs> or does it change her? I don't know. Does I mean, she have, it feels like Nora does bad. Does she have a black hair piece? Is that what that was? No. I thought did, I saw like just, just a dark piece it was, of hair. It was just dark. I mean, is that, just that hair color is already dyed in. Sure. You know, but it's just not lit as much as it usually is, so it just yeah. looks darker. Okay. I just thought, like, there was a black strip. I'm like, man, she's just, as she gets more evil, she's gonna have darker hair. And she stuff got or the something. angry like, eyebrows, eyebrows from Mortal Kombat yeah, Annihilation. I don't know. So, <laughs> but yeah, I just was like. Yeah. Um, also, the idea of, uh, you know, Cisco, you know, Cisco <laughs> leaving, which, I mean, yeah, I don't want to see Cisco go. I like Cisco, but I also feel like this has happened so many times, and it, I, I'm either one thinking like, yeah, right, or two being like, just do it. I'm ready for it. You know, like it's, I don't know. Um, I mean, there was last season, or the season before, we were like, oh man, we might not see him again next season. You know, I think it was a poll at one point. Like, are we gonna have Cisco gone? And they toyed with it, especially ever since like Camilla came around and yeah. stuff too. And I was like, well, I don't know what they're gonna do with this. Mm -hmm. So. I don't know. I mean, he says I gotta leave. So I yeah, I mean, regardless leave. of the actor or behind the scenes stuff, like I just mean like story wise, like I'm just you know, I'm not. It's not that I'm over it or anything. I'm just not like it doesn't. I don't have any emotional investment really, too much because sure. it's been it's just been happening. Well, happened they keep so much. saying yeah, right. Like that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Like it hasn't been like he has to leave and he's gone for a while and he comes back. Mm -hmm. But like they keep saying like I think I'm done with this kind of thing. And it also feels like they've already brought in his replacement. Which is, which is also strange. but I mean, I think it's good to do that, though, while you have the other one, and then it feels sure. more natural of a change, yeah. rather than just, like, one's gone, here's the other one. It seems, like, extremely uh, expected, I, I suppose, which, you know, you like that kind of thing to be unexpected, I feel like, or anything to be unexpected. You don't want to just, like, and then this happens, and then this happens, and then this happens, so... Like, as soon as she said anything about, I'm going to San Francisco, I'm immediately thinking, like... He's probably they're going to go down this route, you know. There was no mystery in that that storyline. Sure. And there was no like they both were like, I gotta leave Central City. It wasn't mm -hmm. like she's like, I've been thinking, I need to tell you something. Yeah. And he's like, I gotta leave Central City, and she's like, I gotta stay here in Central City. Yep. You know. And then you're like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. And then it ends. And you're like, well, what are they gonna do? Instead, just like, well, I guess we'll leave. Yeah. Um, and you know, while there's some storyline stuff that isn't necessarily grabbing me. I really enjoyed the shots on the Star Labs roof with, uh, I mean, they just, I don't know what they had, but they had, like, on-set lighting that was flickering, that orange color. Everything just looked really good. Like, I don't know where they're filming as opposed to doing the visual effects, you know? Sure. Like, obviously, there's a visual effect, you know, doing those establishing shots, but I was like, what in there is real? Because that railing is real, but I don't think that wall is. Like, I, want, I was, was impressed by them pulling that off in a show that doesn't have the hugest budget. Yeah, you know, sure. Biggest, largest. I don't think we've ever been there before, have the we? Word. Like, I don't remember that bridge with, like, that big crack down the middle of Star Labs, you know? Like, there's, like, a big... With the, like, lightning vent? Yeah. No, I don't think like, I've seen I don't it think before, think I've either. Been, I don't remember that. I don't and... Think, I don't think I remember Star Labs having, like, that middle piece missing. Yeah, you know? I don't know. Um, I did really enjoy... Uh, this season has had a couple, but... There was, like, a very different establishing shot of Star oh, Labs yeah. this time, where it was, like, shot by an alley so you're looking down the alley and you can see it in the background it feels more like a real establishing shot as opposed to the helicopter shots we've gotten which they always they might have 15 of those shots you know and they just kind of reuse them mm -hmm. but this season we've had like one or two new helicopter shots but I actually kind of preferred the more grounded one this in this episode sure like you could just like go across the front door with a giant sign that says Star Labs. Yeah. And you don't even see the whole building. Yeah. You know, you're like, ah, oh, okay, mm -hmm. we're here. Uh, other than the President Bartlett shout out, that's all I have. Yeah. I, I love that the he's in the year 2000, so the biggest show in the year 2000 is The West Wing. I love that. Yeah. No. 
I mean, otherwise, yeah, I don't have too much else. I'm hoping, like, maybe this Nora thing, like, I imagine that's gonna be, like, our villain. I did say in the reaction, like, I do find it interesting. Like, I never really would would have thought that, all right, who's gonna be our villain for The Flash coming up next? Yeah. The Speed Force the speed will be force. the villain. And it's like, well, that's a neat concept. It's a neat idea. So I'm curious to see how they do that. And do you have to have, like, Barry and the other forces to fight against Nora? Yeah. Is she that strong? Because she seems pretty strong. And sure. She's fast. She just appears, you know? Like, so it's, like, how do you fight that which kind of gives you your power. Like, that's your, yeah. that's the entity you gotta beat. Also, re- trying to find a resolution to that, I hope is different than what happened with Mirror Mistress, where it's just like, sorry, <laughs> and leaves, you know? Sure. Like, uh, you know, even Iris is here, it's like, no, we've done it here, we've done it here, we can talk to these people and not come up with other solutions. Diplomacy, you know? And I think that that's good, but not necessarily all the time, and not two big bads in a row, probably. Yeah. What do you think if they use this and somehow tie it into Barry initially getting his powers? Like becoming the Speed Force himself? Kind of. Like, yeah. do we uh, do we go something along those? Because there's been the talk before where it's like, well, Barry is the lightning that struck him yeah. that gave him his power kind of thing. It's like, could they tie something along those lines in to where... I think you do that, but it feels like if I'm, you know, a showrunner or a writer of this show, I'd be like, yeah, but that has to be the last thing because that's the perfect bookend from one thing from the end to the beginning, right? Mm-hmm. That way people can watch and be like, oh, the finale right there when he got shot by lightning, you know? So I don't know if you do it and then plan to have more seasons of The Flash, which it seems sure. like they do. Sure, I get you there. It would be interesting, though, because I guess yeah. like if you do that and you connect it there, does what you do change the way you watch it again and now you almost just watch it in a loop and there's like no yeah. beginning or no end to The Flash because like his, his end is also yeah. his beginning and it just goes again. Yeah. Uh, well, let's check out some Q&As over at Twitter. Uh, we're going to start with something that we talked about at the end of last video. And thank you very much. Joshua Wagner says, Hey, guys, I just want to apologize for last week. It totally slipped my mind. I'll try to remember the next time. Talking about uh, you know spoilers and casting news and stuff like uh, that. Yes. Uh, in terms of a question, what do you think the end game of the Forces story is? Like I said, like they're, they're pushing this idea of like connecting with them. So yeah. I imagine what we're going to be going forward with is trying to connect with them and get them like Alexa maybe getting her to control her powers because like she's not bad yeah but when she turns in that strength Hulk mm-hmm. monster like it just kind of does whatever it's angry at. Yeah. so maybe there's a way of getting a control there where we can use it to help fight Nora maybe maybe um Dion like him being in danger may also push him towards like Barry and needing help or something like that um Sage is a weird one but if we're going with Nora and the speed force being bad I think like if she's like the strongest of them, given that she can like kill them, maybe them teaming up with the Flash to stop her maybe. in some way might be the way we go with it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. I. I don't know. Maybe it's Nora takes the other ones out and she can like claim their powers or something. Sure. Uh. Is it gonna connect it all to you know? Because we still technically have Thawne out there with the negative speed force. Godspeed uses the speed force, I'm assuming. Sure. And that's been um, one that's kind of popped up, but we haven't really seen much Yeah, of. Um, so there, we got to go into thinking that that's still going to be a thing. Is it possible that these other people become, you know, with Alexa back, like, do they become more elemental and not human physical versions? And maybe you'll have people out there that are using the still force or can tap into the strength force or something, just like we have speedsters doing the speed force. I don't know. Maybe. There was, like you said about, like, Nora pulling in their powers. And I thought maybe when she killed Alexa, there was going to be something like that where she, like, was taking their power. Because, like, it feels like they all stemmed from the Speed Force, right? Like, we did the thing to make the the Speed Force recreate, and then all the lightning shot out in different directions. Yeah. One of which was still the Speed Force, but we created three new ones. Sure. So it feels like we had one, and then it splintered into four. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe she was going to, like, absorb these powers back in and get stronger, but... They didn't, and then they just kind of brought it back. So sure. I, don't, I don't know. Uh, Demolisher says, "Hey, crew of Blind Wave, what do you think of Grant Gustin as the Flash slash Barry Allen? Do you think he's a good Flash based on comics, animated shows, movies, and based on your own opinion?" I mean, I like him as the Flash. I do think there's times where, especially like when we have crossovers, where he feels more like the Flash, mm-hmm. like the comic Flash. Um, and then in the show itself, like sometimes he doesn't so much and it's a little bit more drama heavy and whatever else. But I definitely think that he has the feeling and can definitely play the Flash well when yeah. that's the route they want him to go. 
Mm-hmm. Um, and then he, I, I think he does a pretty good job in other stuff when they don't want him to go that way too. But no, yeah, I think the actor Grant Gustin has the ability to be a fantastic Flash. It's just that the format of the show and its amount of characters usually means that you're splitting his personality and the stuff that he's really good at amongst different people, different conversations, different relationships. And, you know, we all kind of think of Flash as, like, cocky and he can, he can he quips a lot and he kind of, you know, is, uh, he rushes, you know, in terms of, like, his solutions and stuff like that. This Flash doesn't get to do that all the time because we have other characters that kind of, like, pull him in different directions. Sure. So he has to be a little bit more broad. But as, you know, comparing it to, like, a movie or a cartoon or something, I mean... It's just easier to do that because you have less time to flesh out. Yeah. And here, which is a long form story, I wouldn't, I couldn't see anybody else right now playing the Flash. I don't think anybody else would play it better necessarily because these are the stories that they're going for. Sure. Yeah. But I think depending on what, no matter what story they want him to go with, I think he does a good job with mm-hmm. either of the directions. You know, if they want him to be kind of a quippy, silly kind of role, I think he does well with that. They want him to be more serious and stuff, and they, they do well with that. I still love when he's like, hey, aliens! <laughs> you know, like... Yeah. <laughs> no, he does really good work. It's just, you know, sometimes there's there's a lot to do, and uh, and Barry Allen gets pulled in a lot of different directions, and it can kind of, uh, I don't know, flatten him out a bit. Uh, Jose says, what do you think Barry and Iris... Uh, Oh, what do you think if Barry and Iris gets divorced and Patty comes back and marries Barry? What? <laughs> Jose, I wouldn't consider it. This is the same Jose who wants Lena and Cara to... Jose Castaneda? I think something like that, yep. yeah. Well, I mean, Jose has what he wants. <laughs> um, Ryan says, anyone, everyone needs someone like Joe West in their lives. I agree. Like... The child metaphor coming out of Joe, I'm like, well, that makes sense, you know? But no, all the other times it came up, and I'm like, well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Joe did a good job with it. I like that a lot. It, yeah. the, the one thing that just felt weird was whenever it was like, hey, Mom. But I'm like, because of the nightmare, I'm like, are they going, how, like, what direction are they taking this stuff? Is he like, because he can see into their minds, he knows her fear? So he's saying mom and messing with her that way. Is it because of what they said before with mm-hmm. Joe and the creation and they're like their kids kind of thing? Like, the analogy... Like, is the dream and nightmare also related to the analogy itself, yeah. too? Because she wants to be a good mom, mm-hmm. but she doesn't have any kids, but she has these guys, and that's why she's so heavy into, like, I gotta save them. Yeah. Like, I don't know what exactly they're going for, but the mom thing from Sage was the one that felt weird to me. Yeah. Julian Garcia says, How does it feel now that we finally found out why Wells was giving that look? It actually meant something. Yeah, uh... I'm glad that they had foresight and thought, like, well, we're going to be doing stuff like this. Um, There's a part of me that wishes it was more subtle and not, like, so overly huge as to go, like... (laughs) You know? Like, maybe you could have not taken off the glasses. Yeah. Maybe you could have just been kind of, like... Have it be like a, uh, you know... uh, like a two shot where it's like someone in focus in the foreground, him in the background. You, you switch out and like everyone's looking this way. Why is Will's looking that way? Mm-hmm. I don't know. We, we can't think about it right now. There's stuff going on, you know? Yeah. Have it be more subtle and I think it's more effective. But, you know, I can't. That could have been good because like Iris is like yeah. right here on that ball thing. Yeah. You could have been showing Iris and him in the background instead of, and everyone else looking at Iris. Sure. But he could have been looking over there. Yeah. He's I like, mean, why is he not looking at Iris? Do something as subtle as just break the 180 degree rule and people are going to be like, well, that was weird. You know? That's why we have that rule. But rules are meant to be broken in creative ways. So I would have done something like that as opposed to it being so huge, thus feeling so weird. You know? Sure. And ultimately, it didn't really go too far. And the other Wells, like, he didn't remember it until he got there. Yeah, I remember this. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you mean you remember this? You didn't say before that, hey, I saw us. Maybe his time. time bubble protects him a little bit or something. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Dr. Winchester says, uh, well, I have a theory that when Alexa died, the strength force would choose another person to merge with, but she's back. Never mind. <laughs> that would be one thing, right? Like if the force is just trying to find its entity that it needs to be with and it keeps jumping from person to person trying to find what's suitable. Yeah. Because Alexa seems like a weird for- weird choice for the strength force, don't mm-hmm. you think? Like it's not what I pictured. I suppose. I mean, I, you know. Fraser was wearing, like, workout clothes. I guess. <laughs> like, the first turtle. I pictured him as a turtle. 
Sure. You yeah, know, you like that one fit. Yeah. Oh, is it? They don't want it on purpose. You think the like kind of like turtle Letterman jacket? I mean, maybe shelf it's time related and stuff yeah. a little bit. It could have been. Uh, Holden says, "Hey guys, why does Iris think that the Speed Force Nora is a real person? We know the Speed Force takes form to comfort whoever they're talking to. Also, Nora is dead." I mean, I don't think that she thinks that she's actually Nora. She thinks that, and they, you know, it's it's again muddying of the waters because we're calling her Nora. She looks like Nora, but she thinks that she's just a person, you know. Um, sure, and I think there's still the connection thing, right? Like if you can reach Nora and get her to not be wanting to murder these people and feeling threatened by them, mm-hmm. that's got to be a win too, right? Like it's got to help. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's just I feel like. Should the Speed Force be personified? Because Barry is supposed to be kind of like that in a way sometimes. Like, or should it remain like an elemental force of nature? Like, I like the elemental force of nature part of it, but I don't know. I don't know. It's it's, it's kind of both ways sometimes. Uh, I don't. Yeah. I mean, again, it's it's not necessarily you know me being upset with Iris. It's just that I wish that we would talk about it more. Kind of like nail down these definitions, and because a lot of it is like uh, almost semantics sometimes, you know, like mother, father, creation, all that kind of thing. It's like, sure. well, you know, you know, Steve Jobs isn't the iPhone's daddy. <laughs> yeah, know? he is. No, he's not. He's the, the person f- he yelled at is <laughs> Steve the Jobs father. is the iPhone's marketer. He's the father, of, <laughs> you know, of iPhone. But again, like you know, we use that word creator, inventor, uh, father, mother, like. Some of them are more correct than others, you know? So it can just be semantics, and I think it just needs to be talked about maybe more before we have these hard lines, I'm right, you're wrong. I'm not even, you know, I like when Cisco's like, look, I don't agree, but I, I back you up, you know? But Iris did not do that. Sure. And Barry wasn't doing it to Iris, so. Yeah. Uh, Ross says, if Psych showed you your worst fear, what would it be? I don't know. Like a Neo bullshit. Like what specifically Neo bullshit? I don't know. Ironically, we had a similar thing with Supergirl uh, this last like this last episode that we just had uh, yeah. last night. And, uh, like, there's a talk of, like, well, what, at what, like, I don't know, degree is this fear? Mm-hmm. Like, am I getting my blood drawn? Am I being yeah. chased by someone with a needle? Am I being, thrown, like, am I being thrown in a needle you're pit? You're like on a, yeah, you're on a plank over a needle pit and the plank is slowly like going into the wall? Yeah, like to what extent yeah. is this fear? Because sure. like there's certain things where like I think I could make it through this. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to go no big. Like no one's going to be like, huh, stab with a thousand needles, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? right? Like regardless, I feel like no. Like, this it's is like, yeah, like much. I don't like like going down like, you know, underground tunnels. But if like you like start digging a hole, I'm like, ah, ah, you nah. know, stop it, you know. So like, I don't know. It just depends on what degree it is. Like, sure, I get you. Like hers didn't seem that bad. It was just kind of like someone talking to her about like you're never gonna be good enough. You're never gonna, you know, you're not gonna be a good mom or a good whatever. Mm-hmm. And like, like if it's just someone talking to me about needles, I think I'll be okay. Yeah. But if you're gonna throw me in a pit, no. Nah, yeah, I also loose. would not like to be thrown in a needle pit. Yeah, right. <laughs> like you don't have a fear of needles. It's just no. like, that would not be fun. Yeah. Like, who's going to be like, I'll, I can get with that one, you know? Huh. Huh. Like, okay. every time I get a shot, like, I don't think about it, but when I do get one, I try to think, like, okay, this is going to sting. It's, like, a really, really hard pinch, right? And I try to think, like, okay, as it's happening, rate this pain. Like, from 1 to 10. And then, I, and then I'm already, I'm thinking about how bad 10 would probably feel, like, other things happening to me. And by that time it happens, I'm already done. I'm pretty sure 10 is in a needle pit. Yeah. <laughs> Like, well, what are you, I mean, like, you're trying to get up and stuff? And yeah. I hate it. Yeah, 10 is, like, terrible, like, bamboo shoots up your fingers and, yeah. Yeah. you know, uh, you know, like in Barry when they're grinding the teeth. That'd that's a 10. That'd you know? be terrible. Yeah, that's absolutely oh. terrible. A needle is, like, a 1 compared to that. So I, I think about that, and then, uh, you know, that's my only time I'm ever like, I don't want to get someone shooting this fucking thing into me. Yeah. Like, you know? We were talking with Melanie, it was like, well, you know, what? to what degree is your fear? Like, is it your kids walk in holding a balloon? Are we tossing you into a balloon pit? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, at what degree is this? Are you trapped in a balloon? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> with other balloons? <laughs> <laughs> that would be terrible. You, in order to escape all these balloons, you have to pop the balloon you're in. 
<laughs> you yeah. know, like that's, that's a hell of a thing. Uh, K War says, "Have you guys noticed that there is a lot of building equipment just for them to change their mind and end up not using it this season?" <laughs> There's a lot of. Oh, let's leave this on the shelf. I guess maybe we'll use it later. I mean, they did build something here and use it, and then they destroyed it. Yeah. So they did something. I really enjoyed uh, Chester's forethought of like, and we're probably gonna still need this. I'm gonna put it here. You know, I don't know who this guy is. You know. Uh, Logan says, so if all these people are the embodiment of their <coughs> respective forces, similar to how Nora is the embodiment of the Speed Force, does this mean that they can delegate power to other people, like Nora gives Barry power? I mean, it could be a possibility, especially if they're like, are they the, like, that's what we were talking about before, like, that's the thing, like, are these forces real forces? Are these the berries of these forces? Yeah. Or are they more of like the Noras? They of have these to be forces? the berries because they're real people. Right, yeah, but then they're know. not because they're the forces. Well, it doesn't make sense to me. What What was the speed force before Barry, and was there a speed force? The speed and force was really, internal, and it never really talked to him before, right? Yeah. Like, and it wasn't until later on where like maybe there was like a better connection mm -hmm. in like season two or three or something like that, where like he was able to communicate with the speed force trying to talk to him, whereas like in in these entities here, we just had these forces made. Maybe these are the berries of these forces. Yeah. Right. So like, should we go back and remove Barry from getting powers? You know? Yeah, I, no, I get you. Like, I think that, you know, Jay Garrick on Earth 2 was, he was a speedster before Barry was, you know? So, and I know there's been speedsters and other stuff. I don't know about this Earth Prime is different, yeah. right? But like the Speed but, Force talked to Jay Garrick, yeah. you know? Or was it just he got power from the Speed yeah, Force? So now that we have these Still Force and Sage Force and all this, these people are getting powers from it. And it's not that they're the Noras of these forces, but it's that they're the Berries. They're the yeah. first entities, maybe, on this world that have these powers. I mean, she's implying mm -hmm. that killing them destroys the Force? I feel like it, yeah. But then Fereza was able to come back to life and that blue Force came out, or was that them creating it again? I don't know. Uh -huh. Again, something that needs to be talked about before you just go around killing people. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna kill someone else. With a different way. Uh, Wind with Dip, who says, I like Cisco, but the past three seasons we've been toying with the idea of him leaving. I hope it does happen this time because I'm kind of tired of the storyline. What are your thoughts of this season's theme of talking to the villains instead of fighting them? Hmm. Um. Paragon of love? I don't know. I mean, I got... Some things you gotta fight, some things you don't, right? Yeah. And not everything should be a fight right away. Like, it kind of goes with like what Oliver was saying before. Like, you have this speed. You should be able to assess the situation before ever having to actually fight anything. So, like, Barry doing that kind of route rather than just, like, go in there and punch it. Mm -hmm. Like, assess everything, use your speed, make sure there's no traps or anything, talk to them, yeah. then fight if you need to. I agree. I mean, it would be better for me if... Barry's problem wasn't that, you know, like, oh, shit, I forgot to run fast. Now I've been punched, you know? And instead of it was like, you know what I can't outrun? Free will. Sure. <laughs> Something yeah. like that. Uh, which I think goes with the idea of, you know, talking to the villain instead of just, you know, having a big comic book fight. Yeah. But I think that people come to these kind of shows because they want to see a big comic book fight sometimes. And I also think that if it's going to be a matter of talking things out... We have some very, very, very ill-defined things we're talking about right now, and it uh, it lessens my enjoyment rather than peaks it. I wonder, and I'm I'm hoping because of also having the this mm -hmm. thing, and then it connecting back to what was going on. I'm hoping yeah. they have like a good idea of where they're wanting to go. True, and maybe things as we continue going get more and more defined. Where it's like, ah, oh, I get more of what they're going with. This stuff kind of makes sense why they were doing this because this is where we were going with it all. Yeah. Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. It mm -hmm. depends. We've had it both ways on CW shows before. Yeah. Um, but uh, like one of my favorite scenes of Supergirl was one where they didn't necessarily, at least for a chunk of it, they didn't have a villain that she could just fight and punch. You know. Yeah. So it's like, well, if Barry's speed isn't going to help him in this situation, how does he fight? this you know an True. idea or an ideal or a you know free will or whatever it is like how does barry fight that versus mm -hmm. like you can't just outrun it or you can't just speed punch it or throw lightning at it you know yeah though nora i suppose you could but she uses it anyway so what yeah. do you do there so it's really like 
if you can't outrun Nora because she's a speed force, and if you can't shoot lightning at her because she's a speed force, if, if none of your stuff works because all your power you get from her, sure, you got to find another way to do it. And what's that going to be? Yeah. So I don't know. And with it being looking like his mom, it also kind of complicates things more. So I don't know. It's <laughs> so strange sometimes. Like all these things I'm expected to like consider, and I just keep thinking of, like, don't call him baby boy, freak. <laughs> you know, like that's you're not his mom. Sure. Like, it's insulting to her, his, his, her memory when you do that to me. Though, there's also a weird thing, too, where it's like, okay, well, if Barry and Iris created still sage and uh, strength, mm -hmm. Barry was created as the Flash from the Speed Force. There's also, like, a weird parent feature there, in a way, you know, where it's like, this is what created this, and then this is what created these, you know? So, like, yeah, no, I, in a way, I Nora's you, the grandmother of Still Force. Sure, but she's not, because all she's done was make me run fast. You didn't create me. You're not my parent. I have parents, you know? Don't use that language on me. Like, you know, like, you know, he even said, like, she's tricking me. She's manipulating me. Sure. You know? Like, because she has the vestige of the person that he trusts most in his life. You know, I mean, like it's 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 bullshit. Go wear like a hood, so I have to look at that. <laughs> this, your my stolen I, face. I will you say, know? like as far as Speed Force goes, like I don't know who else is like a better representation of the Speed Force either. You know, like who else should it be? I don't know. I mean, you know what I mean though? Like yeah. who else do you pick to like? Well, we need a representation of the Speed Force. Who's it gonna be? Sure. Nora's been it more times than anything else has been. Yeah. You know. I get you. So like, but I also think like the. The parent thing kind of works. Like, the Flash was created because of the Speed Force. In a way, that's what it is. I mean, Barry and Iris aren't literally Dion's sure. parents, but there's the Still Force it, where, like, they help I create know. it into what it is, so they should help make sure that it isn't evil, yeah. you know? It just, I, again, it's it's semantics at that point. Like, it's like it's loose terms. Is that, the, is that the best word to describe it, you know? And when it's something as uh, touchy as, a, you know, a child losing their parent... You might want to say something else, you know? Like, it's not the most sensitive way of going about it. And she's just being like, you know, I need your help, Barry. And that it's it's hard not to see your mom say that with her face and her hair, regardless if it looks dark or not. <laughs> sure. So, anyway, uh, those were all of the Q&As. We need a poll for this episode. All right, guys, so for the poll for this week, uh, we're going to talk about the... Uh there's two sides we had in this episode. Uh, we had, obviously, Barry looking at the time-traveling idea of going back in time and changing things to make it work and not have any death. And we had the Iris side of things of, like, let's talk to these people and try to connect with, like, Nora and whoever else to mm -hmm. get them to not be bad and crazy, evil bad guys. So were you more on the time-traveling side with Barry or more on the talking side of things with Iris? And why? Down in the comments. We'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe because we have more of uh, the CW shows as well as uh, lots of other things here on the channel. Uh, we do have Superman and Lois coming back. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow is going on. Batwoman and Flash is still going on. All those have Q&As as well, as, as well as any other live shows we do, which down in the description is our Twitter. Go there, follow us, submit Q&As for next time.